again, whenever I talk Cowboys, there truly is, and I don't just say this flippantly, no better mind to talk to than you, Dave Hellman. We Thanks, worked man. together in 2016 at, uh, so nice. was it One Frisco Way? Or the Cowboys facility? One Cowboys Way. One Cowboys in Way Frisco, in Frisco, Texas. Yeah, yeah, 2016 and 17, you and I were there when Dak Prescott got drafted, when Ezekiel Elliott got drafted. Literally nobody studies the Cowboys with a more scrutinous eye than you. So answer me this question. Do you agree with Micah that CD will be suiting up week one? I do. I do agree with Micah Parsons, and I commend him on paying attention to the way things go around his organization. Yeah, this, this, I mean, he's absolutely right. This is the way these contract negotiations go with the Dallas Cowboys. There's a lot of bluster. There's a lot of talk. There's a lot of uncertainty. Gives us something to do for the month, first month of training camp. And then eventually, when, when it gets down to brass tacks, the Cowboys sign their guy. Literally last year. What's, what's the day today? It's August 14th. You know what date Zach Martin got into camp last year? August 14th. <laughs> the Cowboy, we, we, we dilly-dally around, we go back and forth in the media, we get a little bit closer to actual football, and eventually it'll happen. Maybe it doesn't happen today, tomorrow, but before we get too close to the regular season, they even, in 2019, they pushed it all the way up till September when they finally got Zeke Elliott home from Cabo and they gave him a $90 million extension. When an all play week one? Mm -hmm. He sure did play week one. I think he was on he a snap count. September exactly. 4th. And he played September 8th. That, he was in Players. uniform playing, James. Yeah. He was in uniform playing. <sighs> yes. He will be. CeeDee Lamb will be in uniform playing. James, why the, the deep exhale? There was some weight to that exhale. Explain to the viewers. Explain your answer. Because, man, they put in CD Lamb. They put Ezekiel Elliott in bad situations, man. This is how players get hurt. And you're talking about all pro players, right? I believe Ezekiel Elliott was an all pro player, right? Led the league in rushing. This is how players get hurt because you playing with my money and you want me to come into training camp two days before the regular season starts and you want me to run out of this tunnel and play a game and I'm not even physically ready to play a game. I've been out here training. Where Anybody know where he's training? He was right. in Houston. Wherever he training, ain't nobody pulling on him. Ain't nobody pressing him. Ain't, no, ain't none of that. He ain't got no pads on, no helmet on. He ain't going through none of that, which means this is how you blow knees out. This is how you pull hamstrings. This is how you set yourself back if you are C.D. Lamb. That's the only thing I hate about it. Sure, Micah, you could be right. He'll be on a pitch count week one if they get the contract done two days before the season. Sure, but that don't benefit C.D. Lamb, man. This is how you can go out on that field and get hurt. I absolutely hate it. Do the Dallas Cowboys want C.D. Lamb? Yeah, yes. So what we wait no. So so so, so what record, we wait no. Pay the I, man his money and I let's agree. go. You For the record, this I agree. man right now, man. I don't get why they do it this way. I'm just telling you that they do it this way. Sure, like could could this be less dramatic? Do we need to see any more from a two-time All-Pro who's been at the top of the position basically since he got drafted? No, I don't know why the Cowboys are doing this, but I do know it'll end with CD in a uniform because the Cowboys. I think you have to go all the way back to Demarco Murray. For, to find a player who was all pro that the Cowboys didn't get re-signed. Like, that, it will happen. I have no idea why it takes so long, James. And for the record, I agree with you. But he will be there week one. Joy, do you agree with Dave and Micah? Will CD be there week one? Yeah. What are they going to do without CD? Mm. That part, too. <laughs> What's this offense look crazy? like? It's not, it's just... Jerry sitting it's up why there, right? I can't believe that it hasn't been done. I mean, this is, this is the most... I don't want to be hyperbolic, but this is one of the most simple, straightforward, he's our guy, we've got to sign him, he should be paid at the top of the league, he's an elite player, get it done, contracts. So Why it's carried on this long, I have no earthly idea. Why the Cowboys do a lot of the things that they do, I don't know. What I do know is the Cowboys always end up in the same place, so maybe every once in a while you might want to remix how you get some things done. Not saying this is the reason why they haven't been to an NFC Championship game in 30 years, but if you do something consistently enough with the exact same results, what do we call that, Dave? Insanity. It seems like this is kind of what this is. CeeDee Lamb is an elite receiver. He is the number one receiver. He is the best offensive player on your team, a team that um, that, that pretty, pretty much relies uh, in, a, in a, lot, a large way on offense to compete in this conference and in this division. Obviously, their defense is incredible, but... He Dak was an MVP too. finalist yeah. and uh, an All-Pro this year, and CD played a massive part in that.
So I don't know. This is a very straightforward situation. There's not really a whole lot to argue or go back and forth on, and yet the deal still isn't done. And to James's point, it's carried over into training camp. We're having conversations with the other best player on the team, Micah, about when he's going to be available. So it is a distraction. It is things that we are talking about, the team is talking about, the players are being asked about, and this is one of your best players. And Micah is, of course, paying attention to this as well. So when his contract is up, are they going to do the same thing to him and not have him in camp? So it's just very silly to me. I, I don't. I, I think he will be available week one. He is going to play week one. And because of that, I don't understand what we're doing. Let's, let's answer that question because I don't believe Jerry Jones is an unintelligent human being. I don't think he's an unintelligent owner. I don't think he's an unintelligent manager of people. I don't think he's an unintelligent businessman. Yet many people have questioned his intelligence. So Dave, let's break this down because Joyce says she doesn't understand what they're doing. I'm trying to understand what they're doing. The Cowboys never enjoy or ever do make somebody the highest paid. I was going back looking at Des Bryant. They're not Bryan. fans of it if they can avoid it. When Des signed a five-year, $70 million deal, he was the second highest paid to Demarius Thomas. Uh, when you think about Ezekiel Elliott, you know what he had to go through. Tyron Smith, I believe, is probably the best Dallas Cowboy in the last, you know, 10 years since DeMarcus Ware or Zach Martin. And him, him and Zach both, yeah. Tyron Smith, he signed a 10-year, I think, $100 million deal. They knew he wasn't going to be the highest paid. Trayvon Diggs. One of the only DBs to have 10 interceptions in a year in the last 15 years, along with Xavier Howard, amongst others. He wasn't the highest paid. If you're not the highest paid, the Cowboys are fine. But when you try to become the highest paid, that's where Jerry draws the line in the sand. Correct me if I'm wrong and elaborate on that sentiment, because so many people are wondering, why is this so difficult for Jerry? But he never does this. The Cowboys... That's your, that's your response right there? What's that? I like... That's you defending Jerry on that right there? No, I'm trying to explain the logic of, because I don't think Jerry's dumb. So he's basically saying that the logic of Jerry tripping because them other dudes <laughs> took those deals. Tyron took it, Diggs took it. Okay, Trayvon. so what's 11 going to take? Yeah, that's a great he question. He's not going to be the highest paid? That's a great that, that question. That boy there? That's a, that's a phenomenal you, question. All I'm saying is, Unless you think Jerry's dumb, which I just don't. I stand on the fence. I, I, I don't, don't call nobody dumb, dumb yeah, but he's tripping dumb dumb in this situation. Dumb. Like it's not, a, it's not about dumb or stupid. Jerry is a very intelligent and, a, and an excellent businessman. So then I believe what he's... they don't do is make it to the NFC Championship game or Super Bowls. What but, they don't do is consistently win in the post. But he does good business. Cool. If the business is not paying anyone the highest amount and the business is being competitive but not actually being relevant in the postseason, then yes, that is the business that he does. He has the number one brand in all of sports. It's not questionable that he that he is a great businessman. Correct. But, there, but, but we're not, there's a difference between the business side of football and the competitive side of football. And when they cross paths like they are right now, that's when these things get actually harm the team. But I don't CD not being in camp is a, is a serious thing. It does matter. Real quick. Uh, was Zeke the highest paid? He was. He became the yeah. highest paid. Which there's there's two types so, so, of. So what are we talking about? There's two types of cowboy deal. It get it gets done early and without any fanfare when the guy is willing to slot in just under the top of the market. That, Trayvon Diggs did it recently. That, that's smart. Jalen Smith famously <laughs> did it recently. You mentioned Tyron Smith, bargain of all bargains, signing for eight years despite being all pro caliber. The other kind is when the guy is worth paying at the top of the market and wants that. And then it turns into this. That was Zeke getting drawn all the way out until a week before the season. That was Dak going for two years. Mm -hmm. It's happening with CD right now. And Jerry Jones is a great businessman for a lot of reasons. We could talk about all day the number of things he's done for the NFL on a business perspective. When it yeah. comes to negotiating contracts, Cowboys take a lot of L's when they go up against these guys because Zeke winds up getting a six-year deal for $90 million. That's still hurting the Cowboys cap, by the way. Dak takes them to the woodshed and gets a no-trade clause and a no-tag clause. Yep. That's what happens the when they is, go into I these things. I think they take some dubs, too, because notably the Tyron Smith contract, and I believe Tyron Smith they is a better win player. They win when a player is willing less. to settle for less. And that's no shade intended toward the player. Everybody's motivated differently. But when a guy knows that he's worth top of the market money and insists on it, this is generally what happens. And the reason I'm confident 
CD will be in uniform in week one is because we got a long track record that suggests the Cowboys eventually fold because they need CD to have any hope of going anywhere. Correct. And he needs to be there if they're going to be worth a damn this year. So it's, it's just a matter of when, not To me, not though, it's, it. a, it's a lose-lose. That's it's what a I'm lose, saying. Because CD will not, in my summation, based upon historical analysis of players who hold out, CD will not have the season this year that he had last year. Look at Zeke after he did all that holding but out. But why did he have game. to hold out? That's, That's the Cowboys' fault. But I, I, I don't go that far, only because, remember, Joy, uh, this is a new phenomenon. What do this you mean new you don't phenomenon go that far? Of, of players holding out. Like back in the day when you wanted a new contract, you would still go to practice. Now all of a sudden, holding in became a thing and holding out became a thing. CD could be practicing right now. It doesn't contractually stipulate so that he shouldn't CD's be practicing. Fault? I'm not saying it's CD's fault, but I'm just not going to say it's the Cowboys' fault CD isn't at practice. It, it is CD? the Cowboys' he, fault CD's at practice. CD could CD, be practicing. CD is the, an elite number one receiver. He's the one of the best in the league, no one, doubt. one A. There's no doubt, but They're he could be practicing. Him, Why would he be practicing? He doesn't have a, a deal. But he does have a deal. He doesn't have the deal he wants. CD's Acho. set to make $18 million this year. This is he a 0%, this is 0 Acho, CD's fault. You a smart businessman. Mm -hmm. You a smart businessman, man. You like Jerry Jones. You practicing? If I'm you not. CD? So what we talking here's about? What I'm not going to do is ignore the aspect that CD both a everybody could be, could be practicing. Could be practicing. Trent could be and practicing. Ayuk could be practicing. But James, all these seen, dudes could be practicing. We've seen it two ways. Last year with Joe Burrow. Burrow said the deal's gonna get done. Because the and deal he's was gonna, gonna get done. And, and Burrow was still practicing as the deal got done. I'm not going to ignore a, the other side of the coin. He's a quarterback. And to be, and I mean, Dak is do, Dak's at practice right now. That's, and, but that's the rules point. are different for quarterbacks. And, but the rules are the rules are what you make the rules out to be. No, but, we have seen players at practice get uh, Christian McCaffrey. We have seen players at practice get the highest deal ever. But not only that, and we've too, seen though, them hold out. But not only that too, it's how the negotiations is going. If I'm Joe Burrow and my agent is telling me, hey, bro, yeah, we one or two million off, we're going to sign this deal. Yeah, sh I'm, I'm going to come to practice. You know why I'm going to come to practice, too? Because I got a red jersey on. I ain't doing no running. Can't nobody touch me. Like, my risk of injury as a quarterback in practice is very, very, very low than any other position in the National Football League. And, not, and if I do get injured, I'm still going to get paid. I'm not saying still you're wrong. I'm not money. saying you're wrong. What I'm saying is we've acted like it is now a mandate that players who want to get money cannot practice. No, it's, a it's not a it's mandate. A, it's a mandate. CD is choosing not to practice. It's a mandate I'm when not you're up for a contract and you're in your last year and you're an all-pro and you're a big-time player on your football team. Like Shady always say, you don't see that year, right? And with the Dallas Cowboys, it's like every time this situation comes up, it's a problem with all they big-time players. I don't understand that. You're supposed to be this great biz businessman. I don't understand that. That's, How are we in this situation? That's the crazy thing for me, too, is... CD was an all pro in 2022. Like we've known for a long time this was going to happen. And I'll even entertain some people who argue the other side of this. There are a lot of people who have pointed out CD and Justin Jefferson were the same draft class. They have similar credentials. Maybe CD Lamb and his people are waiting for Justin Jefferson to sign because they want to maximize what the money. Jones they can... said, "Okay." He said they offered CD a deal during the course of last season, and the but ball was in CD. Acho, court. Justin Jefferson has been signed for literal months. The Vikings, <laughs> the Vikings pushed it right. Like they waited <laughs> until this offseason to do it, and they still got it done. Months, weeks now, before training camp. Not There's also, no reason why this why, needs to be Here's an interesting conversation. I was thinking about it over the course of prepping for this show. Most of the players that are the highest paid at their position are on teams that are not competitive. Because the teams that are not competitive, they have more luxury because their cap is usually a little more expendable. And if you're not competitive, they need to make you the highest paid. Man, I, I can't. I'm no, so, I, no, I can't let you no, finish I'm that. Sure. It's just what it is. Well, not when no, we've seen what, what Detroit has done this offseason, paying everybody. He's not the highest paid. The I'm Packers, Philadelphia's paying both of their receivers twenty-five plus million dollars yeah, a year. Thirty-two and twenty-eight. The San Francisco 49ers. We got the the Miami Dolphins paid Jalen Waddle. Paid. My but point the line is, in the sand is the well, highest hold on, paid. Hold on, though, You've Acho. established that. Christian McCaffrey is the highest paid running back. Forget all that. Joe right Burrow now. was the highest paid until Trevor Lawrence came and said, I'm going to be the highest paid. Then Jordan Love came, or Tua, said, I'm going to sneak up in there, too. Then Jordan Love said, I'm going to be the highest paid out of all y'all. All these teams are competitive. You, under, you understand what sure. I'm saying? So, like, and the Dallas Cowboys are sitting over here saying, we don't want to pay an all-pro quarterback, and we don't want to pay an all-pro receiver. 
at the top of the market money and make them the highest paid. So that's my crazy. Thought, and you you're telling a, me you all in. You have a cornerback in Trayvon Diggs that could, he, that could argue he's the best at his he position. He took less. You have a quarterback that could argue he's the best at his position. He ain't going to take You have a defensive end outside backer who could argue he he's the best at his position. <laughs> you have a wide receiver that could argue he's the best and at his position. that's why we're here now because he ain't taking less. So yeah, if you're Jerry his, Jones. But it's his turn to get paid. But eventually next year is going to be Micah's turn and it's Dak's Crimea turn. Rivers, that's the business of the NFL. It. That's how it works. What a problem I'm to have that you have the best players in the league at an elite level that I need to be paid. I hate great players. I, 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 no, it's so not sad. that. It's, it's now Jerry Jones is broke. <laughs> it's just easy for us to sit behind a desk and tell Jerry Jones to pay everybody that's the best at their position the most money in football. But he doesn't. Exactly. But, but CD, everybody's but doing but that. CD, CD other CD other can teams ask that do And that. everybody's working Gosh, with the same so salary good. cap and somehow managed to pay Ooh. their elite players at the top of the market. Not the top. That's Does Christian difference. McCaffrey make the? Is, is he the top paid player? Yes, top paid. Yeah, are back. they a good team? Yep. So they, so they managed to pay a player at the top of the market <laughs> about the you, most amount of money. I bet you the Niners are the Niners okay. are going to get Trent into camp too. By the okay. way, Trent Williams will be there eventually. But, what's, but we all know what are the Niners paying their quarterback? I, yeah, listen, I, I am just not, I'm not on Dallas's side on this. They absolutely you knew this what? was coming you down the, the, the pipeline. If you didn't prepare for it or you expected CD. What about CD, the fact that they offered him last year? Mm. What about the fact that they made an offer to CD last year and CD said, no, I'm good? I don't remember. What happened last year? I don't remember last year. We're talking about right now. Correct, but you Justin said they didn't Jefferson, prepare for this. Just, they did prepare for this. No, 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 no. no. But the they knew was Justin not. Jefferson was going to, to make more than that, that offer, and so did CD, which is why he waited. And whatever we think about Justin Jefferson being a better player, like if we, we all think we would all pick Justin Jefferson, yeah. how much farther down is CD? It's not far. Not far. And some may even like CD more. I don't care about what it is. They're both the top of the, of the league. They're both elite, elite players. When you get to the elites, I have to make more money if I haven't signed yet, which is what CD's doing, which is why he's not in camp. And this is not news to the Dallas Cowboys. They've been running a football team for quite some time now. There's no, there's <clears> no <throat> surprises, no reveals here whatsoever. There's no reason CD should touch a field and risk getting injured. He's not a quarterback. Dak broke his ankle and still got money because he's a quarterback. CD can't risk that. This is the Dallas Cowboys' fault, and they are hurting the team by not having their best offensive player in training camp because they want to make him save but some he bucks. Could like, be but there. No, he, he could. No, he could. can't. He cannot be there. It's legal. It's not. It's not about legal. It's about. It's about. It's about negotiating. Why would he go? No, he, he could be there just the same to, way they could pay him. Y'all have to change the verbiage. It's illegal. CD is illegal. CD Lamb is currently under contract. Illegal. Is CD Lamb under contract right now for the Dallas Cowboys? CD Lamb is under contract, but I'll show you no. He's under that contract. He's, doing, he's not doing anything. Illegal. With dozens illegal. Of players, straight to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.